for today's book is going to be to tune into interesting words. So as you listen to the story today, I want to see if you can notice some of the really interesting and cool words the author chose to use. Today's book is called Beyond the Pond, written and illustrated by Joseph Kufler. Beyond the Pond. Just behind an ordinary house filled with too little fun, Ernest D. had decided today would be the day that he'd explore the depths of his pond. So he tried sticking a stick and dipping a hook and sinking a stone, but nothing touched. My pond has no bottom, said Ernest D. My pond goes on forever. I've always wanted to explore a pond with no bottom. Ah, oh, how exceptional. So Ernest D. gathered his explorer supplies, stretched three times, and prepared to set off. I hope they allow dogs down there, he said. And with that, Ernest D. dove down between the fishes and frogs, past the squid and sharks and shapeless things into his pond forever deep. He dove into lightless stretches and through sunken treasures. I think someone forgot to turn on the lights in this part of my pond, he said. Ernest D. dove farther into his pond than anyone had ever gone before, until at last he came up on the other side. The other side of his pond was big and raucous. It was oh so tiny, oh so tall, and every shape in between. Best of all, it was just for him. But this new place was other things too. It was ghoulish and ghastly. It was all things unimaginable. But Ernest D was the bravest of explorers. He battled and brawled until the moon ducked low. And in the moment between moonset and sunrise, Ernest D. looked upon the endlessness of his newly discovered land. All this was hiding in a pond, said Ernest D. How exceptional. So he returned to his pond, stretched three times, and dove back into lightless caverns and through sunken treasures past the squid and sharks and shapeless things out of his pond and back into the world. But the world wasn't quite as he'd left it. His house seemed a little less small and his own town looked a little less ordinary. Beyond every street and silent corner was a place unexplored. Exceptional, said Ernest D. the end. Well, that was an exceptional book. I thought it had some exceptional words. I especially like the interesting words that were raucous and lightless and brawled and exceptional. Which words did you think were interesting? <laughs>